For nothing. For nothing? Well, practically nothing. Come on, Ann. Are you sure there's room? Lady, we make our own. <laughs> oh. Don't thank the light, heat, and water. That was your idea. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, Ann. Say, I could go there in a big way. Oh, yeah? Well, on your own time. <laughs> <laughs> Get going. Let's go. Anyway. Ah. Hello, Mommy. Hello, dear. Wasn't that Eve Monroe I saw you with? Yes, and a couple of the boys from school. Oh, I'm so glad you're beginning to make friends. You know, you don't see enough young people. Why didn't you bring them in? Why, I never thought of it. Anyway, Eve had to get right home. Oh, uh, how were the examinations today? Fine. All right. Coast is clear. <laughs> what? No interference? Come on, come on, come on. What? Come on. I'm going to steal 40 winks. And when Jim Wheeler found me, you time to be here at 9, because the bunks are dropping by for a drink before we go to the cotton club. Okay. Mother, hmm? do you mind if I have Ann Dixon over to spend the night? Of course not. Ann's a sweet child. Oh, 
Well, Martha, I'm off. Do you think we're late, dear? I hope not. These conferences are always such bores. Pardon. Yeah. Good night, dear. Good night, Daddy. Hello? Oh. Good night, dear. Thanks. Hello? Oh, yes. I'll call her. Oh, Anne? Yeah? It's Eve, dear. Hello? I don't think I'd better. Mother's going to be alone. What is it, dear? Mrs. Monroe is going out, and Eve wants me to spend the night with her. Well, uh, what about your homework? I've done it. Oh, well, then you go along. Don't worry about me. Daddy won't be late. All right. Hello. Well, I can come. Goodbye. How are you, my dear? Well, stay apart in. Drink. <laughs> like, come on, Jim, the very idea, letting Pardon die. Oh, work early. Me first, me first. I think you'll find the room look a little better on this. Oh, <laughs> 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 Well, now prepare yourself for this, gentlemen. Ladies, you asked me to do it, now I'm going to tell you something. It's rather risque, but then, you oh, know. Oh, <laughs> can't stand it. <laughs> Why, Eve? <laughs> oh, am I blushing? Can you? <laughs> but I've got one that'll top that one. Oh, oh. You are too young to listen. I must leave the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is about a traveling farmer. Not a salesman's daughter. Whew, did that lad know his stuff. When he kissed you, you stayed kissed. Boys kiss you. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Nobody could get that dumb in forty years. <laughs> <laughs> well, you asked for it. I got it. Mother's party must be getting rough. Well, after that, I guess we all better go. All right, ladies. <laughs> Is your mother going to marry that Mr. Wheeler? Marry him? <laughs> what for? Why, Dad hasn't even agreed to a divorce yet. So what? Come on. Come on, Anne. Snap. 
Yes, Albert. Let's have fun. It's good. Sure. Atta girl. Why, I didn't know you smoked. <laughs> Try a puff. Oh, I don't think I ought to. Oh, come on. Snap out of this baby stuff. <coughs> don't let it throw you. Smart girl. I can see where we're going to have some swell times together. Say, do you know that Tommy's all hot and bothered about you? I kind of like him, too. Hi there, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Hi boy. Hi, Tommy. Oh. Hi, Tom. Sorry, pal. I'm not going your way today. I catch on. If you need any help, bounce them for me. Okay, boy. Scram. And then, let me have the last half of that Latin explanation. Page 65, the last half of the Latin explanation. Thanks. Brian. Brian. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hey. Hey, I'm. I've been waiting for you. I sort of hoped you'd let me take you home. Thanks. That's nice of you. I didn't take you right home? No, I'm glad. It's lovely here. See, Anne, you're sweet. You like your Uncle Tommy just a little bit? Mm-hmm. Look. Where? There. Tommy, you mustn't. All right, baby. I'll be good. Oh, Tommy, it's getting late. I must go home. Okay, lady. You're practically there. Say, how'd you like to go out to the lake Friday night? Oh, I... Oh, sure, come on. Listen, we'll get Eve and Ed, and the four of us will have a swell time. Oh, come on. Well, all right. Swell. Have one? <coughs> no, no, honey, look, like this. See? Oh, gee, Ann, you are sweet. Hey, you eggs, where are ya? Mommy, Ann. Here we are. Buddy, can you spare a drink? That's sure. an idea. Quit hoarding and crack out with that engine. 
Women and children first. Well, come on. Oh. Children. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, watch out. You'll kill it. Oh, uh, I did. <laughs> Come on, boyfriend. Let's go places and do things. The company bores me. You'll pardon this, I trust. Unfinished business. You understand. Glad to get rid of you. <laughs> Don't do anything we wouldn't do. I fooled him. No, Tommy. How about a little more? Tommy, look at that moon. I'd rather look at you. Gee, honey, I, I'm crazy about you. Really, Tommy? Did you win? No, me did. Hello. Ann not home yet? Why, no. But after 11 o'clock. You don't suppose anything's happened? Of course not. Kids never know what time it is. Stop worrying and come to bed. All right, dear. Honey, don't. Please don't. Oh, honey. Don't feel like that, please. Oh, I don't know what to say. I'm in a dirty prayer. I do love you, Ann. I love you. Please. Please don't hate me for, for what's happened. It wasn't your fault, Tommy.
Good night, Tom. You don't hate me? Kind of funny too, baby. You'd be surprised. Oh, oh boy. Mama yeah. first. Okay, Bonnie. This is station KIEV. You have been listening to George Slater and his harmonizers from the lodge. The next dance number will be Dearest with Jay Barry on the vocal. God man.
start with caught and drag. Watch your hips, don't let them sag. That's the movement that starts the campus crawl. Rock, 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 take a slide. Rock, 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 take a slide. Rock, 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 simple to do. Now then, try holding your partner close. Nothing fancy, just a pose. Then it's simple to do the campus crawl. <laughs> Oh, look at that girl go. Young punk that's with hair. His father's a client in the office. Well, what's holding us up? Do your stuff. Go ahead. Okay, brother. Don't call me from jail. Hello, Tom. Hello, Liz. Hi, man. I'd like to meet a friend of mine, Ralph Renner. Uh, Hello. Hello. Oh, excuse me. Evelyn Hall and Dixon. Glad to know you, Miss Dixon. Hello. Should we dance? If you want to snuggle close in that library, when she says that you find you will gladly respond. Just sit down a moment, I'll buy you a drink. Fraternity, <laughs> little shoes in the best sorority, openly say they could uh, really go for all of the majority. A handsome brotherhood, they mean it. You don't need a cap and gown or a high degree. Take your love to heart, she will fall from the start if you join our fraternity. <laughs> Where's Anne? She's been dancing with Ralph. With Ralph? By the big mug? Well, who's that guy I think he is? Tommy, Tommy. Well, he's done doing that. Now, now, wait a second. He's always dancing. Wait, wait a I'm holding nothing so much. It's all right, Sarah. Tommy, Tommy, pipe down. Sure, you're, you're big. Come on, Sarah. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Hey, what's the matter? 
Just another high school hero, huh? Now you're going like a good little boy. I'll tell it to the judge. Come on. Pull yourself together. Come in. Hey, lay off, you big stiff. You can't pull a gag like that. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. we'll no, we'll find out. Yeah. I think yeah. I've been Please, Miss Dixon, you mustn't get mixed up in it. Both of them are pretty tight and not using their head. Your eyes are Brad and I will be very happy to see the two girls get home safely. Glad it'll be an awful mess. Thanks a lot. Thank you. This has been my lucky night. When may I see you again? How about lunch tomorrow at the terrace? Yes, good night. And what about the day after? And maybe the beat the day after that? <laughs> we'll see. All right, fine. Good night. Good night. Your wine, sir. Well, how's the bottle? Shall I pick you up here about four tomorrow afternoon? Where are we going? Wouldn't you like to know? It had better be good. <laughs> Gee, I've been trying to see you for two weeks. Are you still sore at me for being such an egg that night at the lodge? It's not that, Tommy. It's just that I've been busy, that's all. Busy? Oh, yeah? That Bennett mug? Oh, gee, Ann. Even if I am in the doghouse, don't run around with a guy like that. He's bad news for a girl like you. Want another drink? No, thanks. But I will have a light. Okay. Yama. Yes, sir? Take it away. You like some more, mister? Nothing more, Yama. Yes, sir? Glad you came to my party. Mm-hmm. And I like the people, too. I have to give you a kiss for that sweet little feet. And now something special for a very special girl.
I don't think we better dance anymore. Please let me go, Ralph. It's terribly late. Not until you tell me. Well, that's better. And you will go to Brad's party tomorrow night? Check up with Eve. Brad's expecting us. Night, sweet. Good night. Good night. I can't imagine what's keeping in so late. You ought to be used to it by now. I certainly don't approve of the way these youngsters chase all the time. Oh, <gasps> who's being old-fashioned now? I like to have it with young people. Good for them. Don't you think it also might be good for her to come home to her meals once in a while? I'll put dinner on the table right away. We won't wait any longer for it. Yes, Daddy. Anne, I think you're showing your mother very little consideration being late like this. I'm sorry, Daddy. Mrs. Monroe gave a tea, and Eve and I helped serve. I didn't realize it was so late. Well, all right this time, but no more. Understand? Oh. And you, you're home. Come along, you two. Dinner's ready. Mommy, I couldn't. I'm full. Clear up to here with cake and things. Oh, just a, a little something. I couldn't, please. <laughs> well, you're dead. Darn. Come along, dear. Better change your mind. Still all right for tomorrow night? Brad's expecting you.
Look here, big boy. Where's your money? Here. Well, that's it. In my all. Gotcha. Shoot. <laughs> Come on, guys. And that's up for little Willie. Come on, snake eyes. <laughs> Who's got snake eyes? Come on. Put up, put up, put you up. You can do. You've cleaned me. Cleaned it? Come on. Somebody take me here. Baby needs a pair of shoes. Shoes? Oh, wow. All right, there you go. <laughs> 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 there, there. Come on. Oh, Somebody on. save me. Yeah, Papa I'm needs a pair of pants. I'll take you on. Come on, let's have some money. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's tie our luck. But I don't know how to play. <laughs> then we're a system then. Nice Come song on. for this game. He's not that lucky. Hey, what about letting the fellow in there? Oh, okay. 
Madam, right away. There. That'll end that disgraceful performance. Homer? Yes, my dear. That. Some drunks doing a back to nature. Take Mrs. Wagner along with you to round up the females. Okay. Didn't you want to take a little swim, baby? No, Daddy, I'd rather stay here with you. Get out and get your clothes on. You go on, I'll take care of these two girls. Okay. Come on, get out of here. Now is that sweet, lovely day. Come on. Hey, what do I do, Mr. Mac? You can come too. Come on. Never mind. Come on. But it isn't, if you put all this behind you. Oh, you can still make something fine and worthwhile with your life. But Mother and Daddy will never forgive me. Hmm. I'm afraid they're going to have a harder time forgiving themselves. Can we go now? Not yet, dear. I've sent for both your mothers, and of course you have to be examined first. Examine. The doctor will be here in a few minutes. Their report is that Mrs. Dixon is on her way, but Mrs. Monroe is out of town. Thank you, Miss Peterson. Take the girls from the doctor's office to wait. 
aussenden wurde. And so, but blindly, I'm afraid, Mrs. Dixon, like too many mothers. Our boys and girls today need more than trust. They need the armor of knowledge, of intelligent sex instruction to protect them. Thanks. Responsibility is to do what's best for your daughter. She's going to need a lot of help. And you mustn't fail her this time. Bye. Mm. I'm glad you're all right now. And Anne, I'm going away with my father. He's been wonderful. Oh, I'd, I'd die for him. I wish I were dead. Why, Anne, you mustn't talk like that. Honey, what's the matter? I'm in terrible trouble. Oh, Anne. Does, does Ralph know? No. I haven't seen him since that night at Brad. I guess he didn't really care. Or he never... But, Anne, he doesn't know about this. You've got to see him and tell him. Oh, no. I couldn't. Why, honey, when he knows he'll want to do the right thing. He couldn't walk out on you now. You will see him? <laughs> yeah. No, no, Ralph. I couldn't. But it's the only way out. I'm afraid. <laughs> Anne, I'll have to tell you. I can't marry you for a while. I'm not free. the only reason I suggested what I did. Go through with this, honey. And in a little while, everything will be all right for us. Won't you trust me? That's a good girl. Come on. Let's go now and get it over with, huh? down there. Well, now, I... don't worry. Everything's going to be all right. Good afternoon, Mr. Bennett. Good afternoon, Doctor. Uh, may I see you uh, for a moment privately? Yes, of course. In here. Thank you.
hero. I'm ready for the little lady. Well, I'm sorry, Maisie, but you're going to miss a hot party. Well, all right. Goodbye. Hmm. Uh, clock side, 6 700. Uh, is Helen there? Oh, all right. Well, I'm at you for lunch, Evan. Bennett, what luck? You're just the guy I wanted to see. What's the matter? Another sucker refuses to fall? <laughs> well, I've got this one right on the edge. So I'm throwing a party for him tonight, and it's got to be good. So here, God's gift to women, is where I need your help. Mine? For business or uh, pleasure? <laughs> well, I'll take care of the business, and I'll cut you in on it. I catch on, brother. What type of stock does the uh, gent fancy? Uh, preferred or common? Preferred, by all means. And uh, I understand that he falls hard when it's a fairly new issue. Andy, I'm late for my dentist appointment. Will you phone the woods? And tell him we'll have to postpone that dinner engagement. Your father's been called out of town for on business. Why, Andy, you're feverish. Aren't you feeling well? I'm all right, Mona. Just a little headache, that's all. I won't be long. Excuse me, sir. But I, I just heard about Anne. Is she very sick? Yes, Tommy. Very sick. Isn't there isn't there something I can do, sir? No, Tommy. She's asking for you. Then she's better? No hope? None. Oh, but surely there must be something you can do. I have done everything, but there's no use. We were too late. A clumsy, unsanitary operation, aggravated by some terrific shock.
Mommy. Are you asking God to forgive me? Forgive you. Oh, my baby. I'm the one. I failed you so utterly. Can you forgive me? It wasn't your fault, Mom. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Daddy. Oh my, such a beautiful rose. But it's only 